Yeah, Andre, we are just a few minutes from the campus and one of our interns, actually, Imani, was nearby when the shooting happened and her friend Regina was with her. Um, they said they were right in the area when the shooting happened. Imani, just tell me what, what you heard, what you saw, what happened. So as we were driving out, we literally saw six police cars, ambulance. We saw the SWAT team running up and then we went into the parking garage and then all the police started flashing their lights at us and we just heard the helicopters coming out and we were so confused what was happening and then eventually we got the notice that it was an active shooter on campus. Now, you said you, you were at a, a special ceremony for Morgan State. Tell me about that. And, and this is where a large number of students were gathered. We were at the coronation. That's basically when you celebrate our Mr. and Mrs. Morgan State. And it was their first time being introduced to campus. And then we were all there to celebrate them. And then walking out, that's when we saw everything going on. And we were going back and forth trying to figure out which door we wanted to go through. And then we ended up going through the back door. And luckily we did because we could have been out there when it happened. So you said you didn't hear shots, but what in the immediate aftermath, what, what was that like? It was like so scary. Like we didn't know what was going on. We were texting all our friends like, are you okay? Where are you? Nobody's responding. Like people were stuck inside the, um, the building. People were, yeah, people were stuck inside of the building. Like people were told to shelter in place. They were bunkered inside of some of the rooms inside of Murphy. Um, and like you said, we were calling people. People were calling us from different states, asking if we were okay. Our parents who were out of town, like, um, it was a really big deal. We saw SWAT running with guns. It was crazy. So you guys were able to make it safely back off campus. Tell me what that was like. Was, was there a lot of traffic? Were there a lot of people around? Um, yeah, there was a lot of traffic. Um, like we said, there were ambulance, police cars blocking certain entrances and exits. Like they were normally doing one way in, one way out. Um, and just a lot of people on foot trying to run and get to their dorms. Some dorms are also sheltering in place because they're not sure where the shooter is. So that was also a really big part of that. What are you guys thinking and feeling right now? This is this is your university and and now this has happened here. I'm terrified, especially this homecoming week next on Saturday. Plus, we all having a big party. Like, I don't want to go to that now. I don't want to be on campus, so I just prefer to hopefully they end up canceling classes for everyone's safety because sending the shooter is still out. We don't know who they are and everything like that. So. Now, I, I want to point out that as we're talking, Foxtrot, the helicopter, is flying up with a searchlight uh, going on, presumably over the campus area. So we're still not sure if, if the shooter is still at large and still out there. So what are you guys going to do, and how are you going to keep yourselves safe until we know that the scene is secure? Um, so we're definitely just going to surround ourselves with our friends. Um, you know, obviously stay in the apartment, just do what we can to comfort one another, and just ride this out until we feel it's safe to come back out. Have you heard anything about what this was about or, or who might have done this? No, we didn't hear nothing yet. I mm -mm. have no clue what it's about. The only thing is this, uh, unfortunately, there was a mass shooting over the summer um, at a block party in Baltimore. So since then, like Baltimore City has been very on guard about like our campus having parties and things like that. So it's just very unfortunate that something that's supposed to be about family and, you know, love turned into what it turned into. And you guys said you were locked down in the parking garage for a time, is that right? Mm -hmm. So in like the U.S. ballroom, with the USC ballroom, so no one can get in because after the coronation, you were all supposed to go there and have like a big party, things like that. And so then as we were about to go inside, the police started putting their lights at us and we couldn't move. They literally sat behind us. We couldn't move. Talk to me about the police presence. Was that comforting, you know, to, to see them or what was that? What was the police presence like on campus after this happened? Um. It was comforting in the fact that they got there relatively quickly, um, but it also is very alarming when you see, you know, SWAT officers running in their, you know, army fatigues and with large guns. Um, that could be very alarming considering that we were right across from three of our biggest, you know, residence halls on campus. So I just really do feel for some of our friends who do live on campus housing. Have you communicated with any of them since they've been on lockdown? Um, yes, we've texted a lot of our friends. We, you know, did our rounds in the car, calling everyone, making sure that they're safe. Of course, there are some people whom we are not sure where they are. Um, so we'll probably do some more follow-up in the morning just to make sure everyone's okay. And tell me what, what they're, they've said about what, what they're doing in the dorm on lockdown. Um, so she actually caught someone, and they had her under her, you know, apartment bed with a blanket over her head and she was whispering on the phone um, because I believe she lives in the apartment where there's actually a bullet hole in one of the windows on the seventh floor. So, yeah. My goodness, what a scary night, guys. Well, I'm glad you guys are safe and that you got out safely. And thank you so much for sharing your accounts with us. We appreciate it. And of course, uh, we will keep you up to date on the very latest developments uh, on this situation on air and online as we get them. Reporting live at Morgan State, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.